Namaste everyone and welcome to Data Millennials. Hey everyone, welcome back to our Google Data Studio series. In this video, we are going to work with bar graph in Google Data Studio. So let's go to our Google Data Studio first. Now, before we create a bar graph, what and where exactly the bar graph or column chart is used? They are used when you have a categorical features having different numerical values and you want to visually compare their labels. So the question is what is categorical value? In simpler words, it is a label. For example, the city name in our data. So if I show you the city, right? So this city contains the city name of our data, right? So this city or the card type is nothing less than labels so you put a categorical variable on the x-axis of column chart uh, if you go with city if you go with city or card type then you will have names of different city or the type of card on your x-axis even if you want to reverse it then you can reverse it so let's go and see how we can create a column bar chart so we need to go on this button add on a chart okay then you can click on this column chart so and then drag it to anywhere on your canvas by default it will take any of the dimensions and the metric it will take either as count or the sum of a particular numeric value so currently we have dates by default but we do not want it we want city and city as a dimension so what we'll do is that i'll select city okay so city as a dimension and sum of amount is fine right now when i see this chart you can see that you have pretty high value for greater mumbai and bangalore india right while there are other cities which has less as compared to Mumbai and Bangalore right now suppose if I want to add certain filters then I can go and add it from here okay now if I want to sort this data sort this graph basically based on amount as by default it has been sorted in descending order if I want to sorted by ascending order I can click on it and our graph will behave in a similar way okay now um, but mostly let's keep it as ascending only and go to our style so let's see what all style we can apply with this bar chart now currently by default we have bars as 10 only top 10 values by based on your uh, selection of ascending or descending it will show you there but if you want to increase it you can increase the numbers here okay you can keep on increasing it uh, for example if I select it till 20 okay so I'll see the 20 bars here okay now if you want to show data labels you can click on it and your data labels will be shown here on the graph okay if you want to change the color you can click on this color by the first option and you can select another color if you want to add a reference line you can click on this and then you can either choose the constant value or the calculated value and based on your requirement you can select the axis and label of this reference line okay now the same thing we have in our bar graph is similar to our time series or other graph where we can if we want to reverse the axis then we can do it from these options now if you want to apply some grid operations or if you want to change the font family you can change it from here if you want to change the chart background you can select it from here okay and the border style now this option which we had selected here from here is related to this chart only now if you want to change the entire background for this chart with this border which i'm uh, keeping my mouse on then you have to come to background and border and then you have to select 
the background color and borders okay you can select the width of the border and you can add a border shadow if you want to align your legends either in left right or center you can do it from here okay now so this is how we create a simple bar chart in google data studio we have multiple options available here now if you want to change it then what you need to do is that you just need to go and select the second option which is stacked column chart okay now when we when we are talking about a stacked column chart a stacked column chart look very similar to column chart but there is an important difference between these two so i have clicked on this stacked column chart now in stacked column chart you are comparing the total values of a set of label in a regular column chart however in stacked column chart you are also comparing various part of total so basically uh, what i did was that i had selected multiple values here right so within the sorry so currently in our chart what it, what is showing is that within a city what are the type of cards and what are their values so if i select let's see if i change the number of bars till 10 as a top 10 let's see how does it look like now you can see this is the stacked column chart for example in a particular city we have greater in greater mumbai we have this much of silver then this much of signature card this one is platinum card and this much of gold card right so in this stacked column chart you are not only comparing the set of values or the labels you are also comparing various part of that total so these four parts combining created the total number for greater mumbai so that's how you create a stacked column chart now if you want to create a horizontal bar chart how you can do it okay so what you can do is that either you can go and select this bar chart horizontal bar chart okay or the another option is that we can change this chart only so let's go and change this to horizontal bar chart if i click on it then you will see this looks far better than our start stacked chart right it has all the same operations uh, which i had shown you with style and everything okay so this is how you create a horizontal bar chart now if you want to change it to a stacked bar chart the this horizontal stacked bar chart you can do it by clicking on this button okay again it totally depends upon your data and based on your data you have to select the chart type okay so these two doesn't fit doesn't goes with our data right so either we can select this one or this simple column chart now even if i select this third option with the 100 percent stacked column chart it won't look good with our data because it doesn't make sense for us to show this chart on our dashboard right so either we can go with this one simple column chart or we can go with horizontal column chart now when we have a lot of data for example currently i have a lot of city in my data so it doesn't make sense for me to create a column bar chart right so instead of selecting city as a dimension if i select the card type it will make a lot more sense now i can change it to 100 percent stack also right as well as this stacked column chart also even for the horizontal bar chart i can select everything this won't keep my chart cluttered with the data points right okay so this is how basically you create a column chart or a bar chart in google data studio in our next video we'll see how we can work with line chart hey if you find this video insightful then do check out other videos and hit the like and subscribe button